this video, I'm going to show you the methods I use to make vegetation for games. So in games, you have a lot of different workflows to make vegetation. But this one is my favorite one, especially because you don't need to know how to draw and you don't need any photos or anything to make your textures. So let's get into it. OK, so the first thing you're going to do is here in Blender, run my reference in here and I recommend you to do the same. Just look for a few references that you like in Pinterest or anything and bring that to Blender. It's going to be a lot easier if you have your reference here in Blender. And then what I did is offset it a little bit from the from the center and try to bring the um, leaf dirt that you're gonna do the center in the x axis and i also like to keep this somewhat in a zero position Okay, great. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is make sure that your cursor is on the center and we're going to start modeling our leaf on top of our reference. So you can press shift A and bring a circle in here and you don't need to, to worry about optimizing or anything. And now extrude that and try to mimic somewhat the shape of the stem from my reference. Let's scale it a little bit down. I feel things that the reference doesn't have, but I like to, to bring a little bit of deformation in here. And I'll also add a little bit of bevel. Next thing, I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna rotate this so it fits with the little leaves. And I'm gonna scale it down. Something like this seems to work for me. I'm gonna apply the scale and I'm gonna go into edit mode and press Alt S so I can scale it a little bit, increase a little bit of thickness. I'm gonna fix this part in here. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna start modeling the parts in here. I'm gonna start with the plane and I'm gonna rotate this in the y axis and I'll try to mimic the one that is the simpler usually is the best, the one that has less formation and everything. I guess probably this one. And you can extrude so you have the shape from your reference. This seems fine. I'm gonna put a solidify modifier in here in a subdivision. Most probably I need to add a little bit of subdivision in my leaf and maybe in the vertical axis also. And also add a crease in, in the middle part in here. I'll take these loops in here and I'll bring that forward. Yeah, this seems, seems fine. I'll add a little bit of subdivision. And what I want to do is maybe trying to keep this a little bit sharper. So I'm most probably just adding cut in here will be enough. Yeah, that, that seems fine. I guess maybe it's a little bit too sharp. And now I'm gonna apply this and I'm just gonna go into sculpting mode so I can make sure that uh, it looks a little bit more like I envision it. This is gonna be really, really small. So you don't have to worry that much about it, but depend on your needs, that might be useful. This a little bit smoother, the upper part. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm going to deform so it matches with the other leaves. You can use the proportional editing in here. You can press O or just go into this little icon in here and, and click it. And, and when you rotate or move, you're gonna have some like a smooth fall off or something. That seems fine. So like this little loop in here and I'm gonna repeat that. And I'm gonna do the same for all of the other uh, leaves in here. Now that this is done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join this all together and probably some of them are probably inverted. So I'm gonna recalculate the outside and I'm gonna go into sculpt mode very quickly just so I can add a little bit of variation to them. And I'm not really like doing this, paying too much attention to what I'm doing. I'm just going and applying some deformation or anything. And now, Maybe we can do is I guess this stems a little bit too thick. I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner and I'm gonna bring some of this, maybe all of this. Let, let's see how it looks. I guess seeing more the stem is gonna look a little bit better. I'm gonna have two thick few parts in here, like this one. Mm -hmm. 
nice now i'm gonna join this with the stem also and i'm gonna rename this leaf and i'm gonna start duplicating this and scaling so it works with the rest of the leaves and i'm gonna scale maybe even deforming a little bit sometimes i'm not worrying much about the clipping right now i'm gonna stop this later Now I'm gonna select all of this and I'm gonna duplicate okay, this and I'm gonna invert this in editing mode so it doesn't invert into axis and I'm gonna already recalculate the outside so I don't get inverted normals. Awesome. So now what I'm gonna do is reposition some of these so they are not floating. And on this side I'm gonna change a little bit the positions just so it's not exactly the same as the left side. Okay, great. So it's basically done now. What I'm going to do now is select all of the leaves. I'm not going to select this, this center stem in here. And then I'm going to look for randomize transform. If you press F3, you get this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, randomize the rotation in all axes. So it's super important for you to keep, to use like your base stem like I did and do not apply rotation or do not rotate this in edit mode or anything or you won't be able to do this the right way. This is already looking pretty good. Let's see if there's any clipping that we could solve. Yeah, I guess we're good here. So just to clarify, you can do this for all of these ones. Like the rest will work okay with a method like this. This one also, but probably this bottom ones in here, I would use another method that I'll probably cover on another video because it's, it's a little bit different. For now, let's stick with this one. Now I have our high poly basically. So what we're gonna do is just add a plane to use as our low poly. And I'm gonna position this on the front of our high poly model. I'll rename this to um, leaf and I'm gonna export this and bring both of them separated to Substance Painter. Here in Substance Painter I brought my low poly model. Now we're gonna bake our high poly information into this one. So what you wanted to do is you need to open your baking settings and go to your bake settings through here or here and you're gonna select your high poly map. All of this should be fine for now. We're gonna see how it looks. Probably gonna have to change this one but let's see how it looks before. So I'm gonna untick the ID map and I'm gonna check the opacity map and the rest should be fine let's see what is happening is that our plane is too far away from our high poly model so what we need to do is increase this rear distance until we get everything we we want into our bake yeah I increased almost to the end and now it's fine so now we have all of the information we need to make our leaf in here to make the opacity show what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a channel in here and I'm gonna look for opacity in here and and it's still not showing because the shader that we're using does not currently support opacity. So to change the, the shader, I'm going to go into our shader settings in here. And I'm going to change this to PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. And now I'm going to go to our project assets and you can see that we have the opacity map in here so now in order for this to show what we're gonna do is add a fill layer and i'm gonna leave this with only opacity and i'm gonna bring opacity here and now you can see that you have opacity awesome so now what you wanted to do is to start texturing in my case i i have a smart material only for that so it would be good for you to do the same thing but anyway let's take a look on how we could texture this without having a smart material what i'm gonna do is what I like to do actually is setting using the opacity as masking here just so I can see my details also in, in base color and you can see that now I'm gonna have different colors and I can see I can actually differentiate uh, where my leaf is okay so I'm start adding ambient occlusion so to do that I'm gonna add a black mask add a generator and add ambient occlusion in here change the color when something more bluish i'm gonna increase my ambient occlusion and you can see that the ones that are more like far away from the plane it's gonna have more of, of this ambient occlusion so it's nice for you to have like a sense of depth or something i'm gonna increase a little bit more 
and I'm going to decrease a little bit the opacity. I'm gonna rename this to base, I'm gonna rename this to AO. I'm gonna duplicate the base, I'm gonna leave this only with color. I'm gonna change a little bit the color, and I'm going to add a generator for a gradient. I'm gonna duplicate this one again, and I'm gonna invert this gradient so I can have now a darker a gradient from the bottom to the top. Okay, so this is already looking pretty nice. One more thing I'm gonna do in here is adding a little bit of variation in color. I'm gonna do this just um, dragging and dropping a rainbow texture in here and seeing how it looks. Probably overlay or color dot is, is also good. Yeah, I'll stick with color dot. I'm gonna decrease the opacity of this. Let's see if rotating works. Yeah. No, I'm gonna stick with what we had. Nice, and let's see if adding some lighting can help our, our leaf also. Yeah, and I guess this should, should be pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna change a little bit of roughness. Because right now, it's a, it should be a little bit more uh, rough yeah maybe something like this let's stick with this for now just so we can actually see how it looks in, in unity i'm gonna at first i'm just gonna export this and i'm gonna bring this back to blender so we can actually make a bush out of this here on blender i'm gonna hide all of this and i'm gonna bring back my plane just gonna duplicate this and i'm gonna look for my base color in here okay i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna hide uh, this face orientation and i'm going into my shading settings i'm gonna put texture so now i can see my leaf in here with the opacity and everything it's gonna be a little bit easier to put our bush together so what i want to do is have this in the center i'm going to add a few cuts in here something like this be enough and i'm going to try and have the less amount of like blank of, of zero opacity spaces in here this is what is going to affect performance the most so if you're worried about performance this is where you should be spending your time trying to optimize what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to i'm gonna rotate this with proportional editing to try and have like a, a, a leaf shape in here this seems fine to me i'm gonna add another cut in the middle should have done this before actually this is fine i'm just gonna place this into my stem yeah nice i'm gonna apply shade smooth to this and um, now i'm gonna start actually placing uh, the leaves so i have a bush i'm gonna start with an array just so it's easier. This actually is the least way of doing this. I don't recommend you to do this if you really is gonna use this in a game. This is not gonna have the most beautiful results. So I know that, that, that depends on what you actually need. This looks okay enough to me. What I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna go into editing mode and I'm gonna start adding more lifts. Great, that's nice. I'm gonna apply the array and I'm gonna start adding a few ones just to add variation, so it's not that obvious. Start forming a little, maybe even all of them like this. So we have our bush ready. The last thing we, we need to do before bringing this into Unreal or Unity is editing the normals. Because the thing is for leaves to shade properly in games, we need to kind of mimic the direction the light is affecting it. So that's why we kind of use a normal that is not the one that we originally use for something like this. Because this is what is more common for any model. We just use shade smooth or weighted normal. But for this one, what we're gonna use is this normal edit and we have to apply the auto smooth in here. So just go into this tab and apply auto smooth and we're gonna add a mesh. It doesn't, I can even use this. Uh, I 
have deleted. I can't use any mesh at all. People usually use a sphere, but it doesn't really affect like the mesh itself. It doesn't affect uh, at all. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make sure like you can already see how the preview from Blender is being affected by this new normals that we did. They kind of react like the same thing. And this is the kind of effect that we want for leaves. For this one, I would say that the regular one will probably also work because they are more individual. They do not work as much together as it would on a tree or anything like that. So it's up to you to decide what you prefer. You can test both of them. But usually for me, I kind of like more the look from this one than the other one. So yeah, I'll go ahead and, and apply this and I'm gonna export this to Unreal or us to see how it looks. So this is the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments and please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.